Greetings everyone, Jonathan here from Plagiarism Today, and today, in a very awkward sentence, I would like to talk about the uh, copyright panel at the Consumer Electronics Show CES that took place yesterday. I, like many others, watched it via live stream on the internet, and like many others who watched it, I was deeply disappointed in it. Um, the problem, I, I, I think, stems from the makeup of the panel. I'd heard of, like, let me backtrack a little bit here, I'd heard about it a few days before, um, and then I totally blanked on it, and then Terry Hart from Copy Height was kind enough to be tweeting about it, and that kind of jogged my memory, and I jumped in. So I was a few minutes late, admittedly, but um, I want to say thanks to him for giving me like the uh, inadvertent heads up on that. But the panel was made up by, well, let me just read the people here, I've got the other list. It was uh, John Barlow, for the co-founder of the Electronic uh, Frontier Foundation, uh, Wilson Holmes, co-director of Fight for the Future, Mike Masnick of Tech Dirt, uh, Gigi Sohn, uh, co-founder and president of Public Knowledge. Derek Khanna, the former Republican Study Committee member that wrote the uh, controversial memo about uh, copyright reform. He was kind of an unofficial last-minute addition to the panel. And Hank Shockley, uh, founder and CEO of Shockley Entertainment. I put him last for reasons I'll get into in a minute. And if you know copyright debate and you know the discussion going on online, then you know the problem I'm going to raise already. I don't even have to really raise it. But this is a veritable who's who of the either the copyright reform or what many call the anti-copyright side of the debate, even though I don't think any of them actually claim to be anti-copyright. They all advocate very uh, extreme copyright reform. Um, and there were no representatives from artists, there was no representatives from MPA, RIAA, etc. There's no one from more of the, 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 you know, the sort of the status quo side of the discussion. And that was very disappointing. Now, I read an article in Ars Technica which said members of the RIAA and MPAA were invited, they declined. I don't know who they contact. Hey, that statement did not have a citation as to who said it or who made the claim. I might have to go back and reread that, but I don't recall there being a citation there. Um, that being said, I don't know who they asked, how strongly they pushed for, what they said, etc. But the problem is, even if the MPA or the RIAA didn't um, say they want, did actually decline to come. Uh, there are plenty of other organizations out there. The Copyright Alliance leaps to mind. Uh, ASMP, the American Society for Media Photographers, has been a great moderate voice in copyright discussions. They would have been good to have on the panel. Um, like I said, the, the SIA, the, there's all these other uh, the Publishers Guild, the Authors Guild, there's all these organizations out there that are not the RAAA or the MPAA that would have been great to have on the panel as sort of counterbalance voices, but they were not invited and did not attend. And also there is, of course, thousands of artists out there, too, that I'm sure would have loved to have a voice on this panel and were, um, either were not asked or declined, I don't know, maybe they asked every artist in the world, but I, I, I don't get the sense that there was enough dedication to having a balance on this panel. And the problem with that, A, is that you don't have balance in the panel. And, of course, the exact claim many of these people make about the pro-copyright panels is that there's no balance, and they're probably very right. I mean, I think the criticism can be lobbed both ways. But the other issue with it is it makes for such a dull, aching panel. My God, this was an hour of tortuous... Back scratching. The, the only highlight um, to me was Gigi Sohn, uh, Public Knowledge, is working with the Center for Copyright Information, CCI, on the uh, quote unquote six strikes system that's coming to the United States sometime in the first quarter of this year, supposedly. And this is going to be where they send those copyright alerts to suspected file shares. Uh, Sohn said, and she was talking back and forth with Mike Masnick, you know, give the system a chance. It's not six strikes, no one's getting booted. Um, just give the system a chance. Don't hate on it before it's had a chance to launch. They're working very hard to get it right, she said. And it, it's not evil. I mean, basically, she didn't say that, but it, that was sort of the tone was, you know, give the system a shot. You're hating on something that hasn't launched. And I thought that was pretty good. And when, you know, public knowledge is saying you should give something that's pro-copyright enforcement a chance, I think that's a fair request. I think you should give it a chance. Um... But other than that brief back and forth, I don't recall any actual disagreements at this panel. It was a lot of back scratching and back padding and just it was the same tropes, same arguments we hear over and over and over again on this issue. Nothing new was said. The crowd lobbed softballs at him. The moderator lobbed more softballs. 
it was frankly a very dull, not an interesting panel more than anything. Even if you are in, you know, this camp, even if you completely agree with Mike Mastic and so forth, there was nothing here. Nothing of substance was said. You had Mike Mastic talking about business models, Gigi Stone listing the exact same copyright reform she said elsewhere. There was nothing new said, nothing new offered. The only question that was raised was, will 2013 be the year that copyright reformers make their counterattack? Um, there was, I guess you would say, mild optimism on that front among the panel, but still uh, very limited in nature. And I am very unoptimistic about any copyright legislation pro or um, re pro reform or just pro status quo being passed. Because look at this Congress. I mean, come on, this has been a very unproductive. The one hundred twelfth, hundred thirteenth isn't going to be any better. Hundred twelfth was completely unproductive. Hundred thirteenth, I don't expect it to be any better. So yeah, I'm not optimistic about anything happening on copyright this session. Personally, I don't think. It's going to be particularly good one way or the other. And to make, I think the capper for me was poor Hank Shockley. This guy was completely out of his depth in this talk. At the, He talked at one point about how, yeah, the current laws are adequate. I can sue people. I can do this. I can do that. Completely out of touch with people that A can't afford to sue. But we'll get on that later. That's, a, that's another video. But at the very end, he completely embarrassed himself when he talked about how now, if he wanted those guys at the Pirate Bay to stop, he would just go and sue them and make them stop. Like, that hasn't been tried by, you know, people much bigger and much more powerful than he is. And you see the result that's had. I mean, the four founders of the Pirate Bay have had criminal convictions against them. One is sitting in jail right now. I don't know about all the others, but, I mean, yeah, it's sight's still going. So, yeah, no, Hank Shockley, you cannot just sue the Pirate Bay. Quit being daft. Um, so, yeah, poor Hank Shockley on that one. He was the, uh, I, I don't know if he was there as the artist representative. I don't know what he was, but he was, A, still very much in the same camp as everyone else, and B, just hopelessly ill-equipped for this. <sighs> Anyways, it was just not a good panel. I would have, I, I, maybe I should actually get, sort of spend some time and conjure up what I think would be the perfect copyright, uh, panel for one of these types of discussions. Personally, I would like to see a, a five-person panel. One person at the extreme on both sides, two kind of centrist voices, and one person there that just has no clue what the hell is going on and can ask questions, representing like 99% of the population that doesn't care about copyright. So, just off, maybe I'll come up with some names later. But anyways, on that note, everyone, I'm way over time today. I apologize for that. This is Jonathan Bailey signing off.